Hi everybody, I'm Photoni M and welcome to Survival Fountain of Youth. I'm starting a um, new series in a way. I've done Survival Fountain of Youth before, but that was on the playtest and now it's in early access. And I'm so excited because now we can do all the neat stuff that we could see in the playtest but couldn't do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. We're going to go to new game. So these two slots are from the playtest. These two are from me just poking around a little bit to kind of see what's different because before I had done a bit of a tutorial, um, tips and tricks, and I want to do that again, but of course like some things have changed, so it's kind of hard unless you know what has changed. I don't know everything, so um, it's going to be partly a discovery together and partly, you know, showing you where things are and what to do. So let's confirm that. I'm going to skip the tutorial and intro, and if you want to see those, you could always buy this game. Um, and we're going to do it on hard difficulty. This, I'm leaving it unlimited because I don't know like where all the new dangers are and stuff, and I don't want to have to restart from the beginning a series that I'm recording from YouTube. So um, there is limited, but since I don't know how many faints that is, I'm going to leave it unlimited. So hard mode, we don't want very hard because honestly, it's just super tedious with all the diseases and stuff that you get on the very hard mode um, and doesn't really make for good recording. So this one makes it harder, but not so hard that it's a boring video. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it won't be a boring video. So here we go, confirm. And what I'm gonna do is cancel out of most of the cinematics on this, so... Sorry. But isn't it just gorgeous? I just love... Like, I think they did a great job with the graphics. And... Oh! Ow! Oh! And here we go! So when you're here, you want to pick up these things, um, the grotto map, which tells us where to find some goodies. And you don't have to pick this up, but why wouldn't you? Um, it's about the water of life you can get. And I'm pretty sure that's the only things you can interact with here. Since we're playing on hard, we can only take one item with us. Definitely we want the backpack, even though the coat actually is very useful as well. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try... <clears throat> maybe I'll try a playthrough with just the coat to see. Um, if you're starting on easy, you actually get three things. So on normal mode, you're gonna want the backpack and the coat. Um, on easy, don't take the spear because you're just gonna lose it. Maybe one of these two weapons, maybe the provisions. You don't really need... The thing is on easy, you don't really need any of this, so... Uh, so whatever, just make sure you get the coat and the backpack. And then we can go through the window and leave all those screaming people behind. Sorry, we're skipping it. I can't stand to sit through it again. <laughs> the storm washed me up on this island, basically. Oh, here I am. And because we um, didn't take the coat, we're already getting um, sun exposure. You can see in the upper left. But before I do anything about it, it just tells us the water makes us sick. In here you can get some caviar and starfish. And if you're playing on hard, you do need to gather quite a bit of food. So let me just see, there's another urchin, not caviar, urchin and starfish. There's another urchin around here somewhere. There's another starfish, there it is. Um, you can combine urchin and starfish to make caviar, which I will show you in a minute once we get into the shade. So yeah, okay, so here's where we started, right over here, there's something you need to pick up. This rope. And then, uh, I was just seeing if that was a box. There's at least three ship boxes on the beach. 
Um, so we will go pick those up. Let's grab some sticks. Um, and we need some of these too. So if you click F, you can see we can make two of these. And then, uh, so this one has a 4% indigestion chance and more food compared to the starfish, which has 9%. So if you can get those urchins, it's totally worth it. Um, crabs we're not going to worry about right now. And then over here is one box. So we'll grab that apple and we'll eat that. Oh, oops. I'm playing a game where you right click to eat. Okay. Um, and then those uh, shells, I'll show you in a minute. They're not really that great. I don't think we need to pick them up right now. I can't remember if you can cook them though. Hold on. Okay, some bread. So we'll grab a shell and we'll look at that. We'll open it later. And then, uh, I'm also kind of looking for stones, small stones. This one here we're going to pick up just to move it to where it's more convenient for us later. And then over here, another loaf. So, um, let's just go ahead and do both of those. They can't cause us, uh, indigestion. So then here, let's do that. So see, this has a high chance of indigestion and it doesn't look like we can cook it. So, um, I'm just gonna, uh, I guess I'll carry it in case I need it, but but I'm not going to eat it unless I have to, which we might. So we're playing on hard, which our hunger goes up a lot faster. I mean, down, I guess. I don't know. However you want to say it. We need food a lot more often. And um, we get diseases a lot more easily. And I think the animals aggro more easily. I probably should have read it on the intro screen there. I didn't. We don't need yellow leaves, but we'll pick up the green ones. And this is back to where we started. Um, and then I'm going to pick up the coconuts that are over here as well. Look how much, uh, like our sun exposure is kind of bad. So let's go here and we can make ourselves a cape and that'll help a little bit. And then to make the other stuff that protects us from the sun, we need another kind of um, leaf. So I'll just unlock uh, all this stuff. It just, all this stuff is automatically unlocked when you start the game, I think. Like stones aren't something you make, but um, as we go along this way, we'll be able to see what got unlocked. Okay. So we picked up the coconuts that were on the ground. And there might be a couple more right over here. Uh, nope. This tree has them, but I'm not gonna... We don't have time to harvest. Oh, here. Yeah. And then here's a date tree that you can harvest for food as well. Um, but what we're going to do is go right up here and grab some stones. <clears throat> and then we're going to grab some long sticks. Ooh, excuse me. So up the hill here, the stone that's more gray than the others. We're going to grab that and then we're going to go stand in the shade. And guess what? The sun moves. So after you make each thing, you want to make sure you're still in the shade. But there we have an axe, and let's grab some of these. And we're still in the shade, but see it's closer. I mean, it seems to move. And we'll make a spear. Then we'll go to our inventory, and I like to have the spear on slot one. 
Uh, maybe I'll just eat these. I hope I don't get sick. Okay. Uh, right here is some chamomile. I'm going to grab it. Uh, we don't need that many, though. I don't want to spend too much time. Okay. Now. We are going to head to our new home. I'm pretty sure you can steam those clams or dry them or something, but maybe not. You know, in the playtest, things changed over time, so we need a lot of these. So we're going to grab all the ones that are here, and we're carrying too much. Um, one thing to note is you don't have to hold down shift to run. Ah, uh, I don't really want to bother with this bong, the dog that I can hear. If it attacks us, we'll be fine, but... What am I carrying that I don't need? This? Oh, this. There. I meant to drop that off over there. So... If that dog attacks us, it does, but I think we can avoid it. There used to be more stones on the beach, but I'm not finding them on either of my tests or on this run, so. And then what we're going to do is make some more clothes, make some medicine, make a bed, and... Um, and get started once we get over here. So we're on the way to the grotto, which is the first step on this quest. And um, where are all the stones? Uh -huh. Coconut weighed me down. It was okay, because I need it to eat, to live. Uh, and there's more coconuts and stuff over here. We'll get them in a second. Another big stone. But I swear I thought there were little stones all along the beach. Like, not all along, but two or three of them. And I found zero. Okay. So. What do you know? Here we are. <laughs> Pretty easy to find. Um, we're not going to bother with these. They're basically poisonous. Um, we'll wait until we can cook them. These, wouldn't it be amazing to be able to spear, throw a spear and hit an actual scorpion? Where's the third one? Why can't I see the third scorpion? What the heck? I swear there's always three. I love it now you can break this stuff down. Um, what's the injury chance? Wow, it doesn't seem worth it given that injury chance, but... I There's definitely a third scorpion. Wow, 27% chance of injury. Okay, so here's a map of the island. This is where we need to go for the next step of the quest. These water sources are great, not for water, but for clay. Um, and then here's the island that we're on. We're like over here. And this is um, the boat that dumped us here. And I will turn off the camera and let you watch this. Also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. 
Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. Okay, so next step is find the spyglass. And you guys can read this to your heart's content by pausing right now. Alright. And over here, there's one more, which is about this water I'm about to pick up. Where is the third scorpion? I only killed two. It's scaring me. Oh, I'm gonna drop some crap. Uh, yeah. Where? I'm gonna have to review the footage because I swear I was standing here and I saw one, two, three. And I've played this game many times and there's always three. But, okay. Uh, with all the new stuff we've unlocked. Some more clothing, which we need to make. Um, but what we really need to make right now is the bed. Which I'm going to put there. I always want to right mouse click to place the beds. And build. Building a bed doesn't have a chance of injury. That's good. And we're really tired, so I'm going to make some of that, drink it, so hopefully, yeah, see that gives us this status, natural recovery, um, so we'll be able to recover more by sleeping right now. Um, let's just sleep a little extra and get... A little more energy. Okay. So, we need... Oops. Uh, let's see. We need to make one of these. Oh, there's more stuff I've unlocked. Okay, campfire with stones. Um, and coal. Really? No. Oh, the bed of leaves. Okay, that's because we have long sticks. And this, we're not going to make a fancy axe. And all these things I picked up, can't get rid of those two. Okay, so um, we're going to make some medicine because you really need it. But we also really need the clothing. So what I'm going to do, look at this, that requires four. So I'm going to make the hat, the sandals. And, uh, each medicine requires quite a bit of these as well. So if we make one, two, one, two, three, and a couple bandages, I don't have enough. So we're just going to have to live without the leg coverings for now. Um, yeah, I don't want to eat these. So we'll have some coconut. I like to save the coconuts because they don't go bad, but... Alright, so let's add some fuel and hope to make a fire. We only have two tinder. Oh, wow. Alright, so we've got four and a half hours to work with. Let's just go ahead and make both of these. Trust me, you need them. All of these. You need them. And... I can only make one of these. And uh, wait, and we have no food to cook. Okay. And then I like to put the medicine here so I can see what I have. And let's <clears throat> Drop all this, because it's like super heavy. This stuff too. Um, and the fire stuff too. We'll drop it, oops, by the fire. Oh, I forgot to make charcoal. 
Let's grab that starfish if I can. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay. Out here, I have more things to show you. First of all, there's more food you can pick up. And we're going to check the water too because there used to be um, urchins and stuff out there too. And then here, there is a drawing about how to hunt. This does work. You can hide behind stuff. It helps. Um, so that's something. Just wondering if that was something we could break down. Okay. Do you see any sticks? I mean, stones. There's that giant one. Yeah, I see that, but... Just like the little ones. Okay, let's head out here and see if there's still food. Hmm. This works on our swimming skill, too. We really want an urchin to go with that starfish. And also, I'm looking to see if they've moved any seaweed a little closer. Okay. So if you run out of air or stamina, which is the bottom bar, you start to take damage. And I must have jumped in with not very much stamina. So let's let it recover completely. See, the sun exposure isn't going up as much because we have more clothes now. And now it's overcast. Let's just check over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like the easy food is right here anymore. Hmm. It could also be... I, I don't think... I haven't noticed a difference on the availability of food on different difficulty levels. So I doubt that's... I doubt that has anything to do with it. Yeah, see, I must have jumped in the water with not very much stamina before. Um, and I just want to look and see. Come on. There's got to be an urchin, right? Come on. One thing about these clams is that they, they don't go bad if you leave them in their shell. I guess not. All right, well, uh, we're gonna head back. Just making sure that this isn't something I can pick. <laughs> And yeah, you know, maybe I missed some or whatever, too. <clears throat> it's fine. Um, and you might consider picking at least one coconut like this. Oh, I don't have a cutter. Um, and the reason is so they can start regrowing. And if you're crafting like I just did, make sure you're in the shade. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have the coat. Um, okay. All right. Ah. I see you. I kill you. All right. So this extra scorpion, um, we'll cook it tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to eat that stuff. What did we find? Oh, the hunting drawing. Okay, um, so let me drop off some more things. Oh man, I really wish I had done that. I'll put the scorpion here where I can find it. I, I am not going to eat that. This is a maybe, but look. Indigestion chance. 
it's really high for the amount of food that you get, which is not very much. So we'll just make some more coconut stuff. And I will also drop off some of that stuff. And um, I'll drop off the rope for now since I don't have any charcoal. Let's see what time of day it is. Uh, it's almost the end of the day. Um, drop off these. Let's go um, down the beach a little bit. We can hunt for a skunk. I mean a dog. It's a dog now. And um, then I, I can cook that as well as uh, make some charcoal. And then tomorrow we can go take care of all that stuff. I could try to get a crab too. What are you doing? You're making it really hard to aim at you. Ah! See what I mean? I'm having this trouble with the um, hitting stuff. Did I get concentration? No. Okay, where did my spear go? Yeah. It's so annoying. So, once you get a perk point, you can get concentration, which will help you find these. Although the spears, I don't always find. I really would like to have that so we could also hunt a- there it is. We can try hunting a crab. With these weapons I'm not so sure but... Yeah. Okay. So we'll go um, make a fire. There's more coconuts right over there too, but um, I don't feel like we have time. Make charcoal and cook our food. Then tomorrow we'll work on getting um, some better food, hopefully some rope and some more long sticks. And then we're actually gonna move our camp. We'll see what we have time for tomorrow, but... Oh, I don't have much tinder. Ugh. The fact that it takes an hour... We have to sleep now. I'm just going to keep trying to light a fire. Oh my god. So, I have only one, right? Okay. All right. Eat. Oh, I couldn't find it. Oh my god. Okay. And it's probably like late in the day and you can tell by clicking here. That's oh, not too late. Um, okay, so we've got the rope. And emergency food that I don't want to use. And too many sticks. And away we go. Hopefully, yeah, getting more of those would be really good as well. Um, I'm not really sure. It might be faster to go this way. We'll just go along here. Pick up a skunk on the way. Whoa, look at my energy. Hmm. 
I guess I will not run. I didn't recover very much energy, did I? If we get more long sticks, we can make a better bed. That might be the play. So... Yeah. Did I use all that energy making fire this morning? Stupid. Good. I'm just get having to <clears throat> not run because of the energy situation. Um, so it'll take us a little bit longer. But we're going to go up this tree right here. We're going to map and we're going to grab some eggs. And then hopefully I'll still be able to get some resources after that. Ah. Uh. These trees, I think, have sticks. Oh, tinder would be a, a good resource. Yeah, they have sticks and bark, but we're not going to get that right now. There should be some trees over here. We can just grab some mushrooms. See right here? This fungus, it's not technically a mushroom, I don't think. Ooh, I accidentally ran. There, got a little bit of tinder. And we'll go up here. There's some of the leaves we need. Okay, so we just go up here. And I don't know. You want to stand like oh. at the crossroads here? You can fall off the tree. So... It takes three hours to map, so... Ugh. Okay, well I guess that's all we're doing. <laughs> but at least we can see. We want to go to this bread tree right here. These boars, we need... There's actually two we need to avoid. <laughs> oh wait. No, the boars I'm thinking of are over here. Okay, we want to avoid the boar. The peccary is not hostile. Um, and uh, we need to get more of those leaves for our clothes and medicine. And oh, right up here are some eggs. Uh, should I go ahead? Eh. I guess we'll get them next time. It's a little bit ridiculous. But... Playing on these hard settings I, its something I'm not used to yet. Okay, back at the cave, we are taking damage from being exhausted. So I'm going to sleep for one hour. Then I'm going to um, grab some coconuts. Mm. That way... Uh, I'll be able to get better sleep, I think. Oh, I didn't quite get the status. Let's do one more. Oh, sucks. The natural recovery status, I don't even know if I can get it now. Yep, there we go. And then, yeah, we'll just sleep until morning. Let's just go beyond it. Okay. <clears throat> so I do... <clears throat> I need to cook this. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. There's lots of coconuts we can get. I didn't mean to do that. I need those. Need more stones. Don't need to carry this. Don't need to carry the charcoal. This is for just in case. Okay. So we are going to 
go get some of that stuff that we were, I was talking about yesterday. Okay, I'm back here at the tree where we did our mapping. And I'm going to grab some eggs out of this nest here. And my advice is to stand on the nest so you can't slide off, which has happened to me before. And I'm not going to get the feathers and worms right now. We don't need feathers until we can make arrows, and we don't need worms until we start fishing. And I'm not going to do either of those things right this minute. Okay, so we seem to have a fair bit of energy left. We're going to head in here. There's one or two dogs. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't poison me. Okay. But we need a whole bunch of those. There's some tinder on this tree here. Okay. So this dog we have to kill. There it is. On the other setting, you have to run, you have to get right up on it, and it sucks. On um, normal, they're actually harder to kill because they're harder to aggro. Okay, there's one over there. I don't know if you could see it. But we're actually going to this tree right here. Oh, there's only three. So, check this out. Blueprint. We can make this food that actually heals us. Um... We need a lot of this, so I'm trying to watch my stamina, but... Okay. So then I'm going to go up this hill here and grab some more of those long sticks. Maybe I should get another... No, I don't need another skunk. I was thinking for food, but... We're going to have the um, breadfruit stuff. Okay. We've got plenty of health and everything. There's chickens down in there. Right up here is the back door to our cave, so I'm going to go up this way. We have to be careful because there's a whole bunch of scorpions, but um, I think we can do it. And the amount of sun outside should help us see them. I have the brightness turned all the way up, by the way. It's just because when you're ancient, it's like really hard to see. <laughs> and it's still... Where are they? Pretty sure there's four. Two groups of two. I see a tail. I see two tails. I didn't kill it. Oh man. The other one is like right over here. I can't see it. Is that it? Right there. Okay. Ah, uh, there were only two. There's usually four. So, I don't know. Interesting uh, scorpion luck that we're having. Alright, so let's make this. So now we have full sun protection. And uh, pick this up so we can cook it. Uh, a couple of these will make some more bandages. 
tinder um, upgrade. Okay. Okay, so that's going to help us a lot. Do I have any more green coconuts? Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, yeah, I'll just drop those. Uh, see? Okay, let's um, do some cooking. I don't know how much tinder I have. I think I have three. Oh. All right, so we want um, three of these. Okay, that's, don't eat more than one at a time, because, um, I, I used all my tinder, didn't I? Oh, there's so much crap here. Let's just sleep. Uh, because you won't get more health recovery. Did I drop that other coconut? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have any more tinder, uh, but I really need to cook some more. <laughs> uh, we did go up a level in fire starting. Let's try it. Okay. Don't. I don't think you should bother repairing. Well, let's see. It takes one stick to repair it and two sticks to just make a new one. It's fine. We'll put our trash stuff over here. Uh, well, we're getting fire starting uh, EXP. And then we'll make fried eggs with what's left. And... Uh, was I going to make some more? Yeah. What do we have? Two, two, and two? Uh, uh, oh. I thought I had two dogs. Okay, maybe, uh, let's just see. Yeah, they must be at different spoil levels. Hmm? Okay, um, I just think maybe I should make some more of this. It takes a lot longer to do anything on these settings because you need so much medicine and everything. Um, and I'm out of water. So I know there's a green coconut on this tree still. Okay. Should I risk it? Yeah. See that starfish is just gonna go bad. And I still don't have enough water to um, to get natural recovery, but... Unfortunately, we wake up in the middle of the night. But that's okay, I decided to just sleep until we were there, you know? Until we were... Um recovered here for energy. Uh, 
All right, so we've gone up a lot of levels on skills. This is really cool. I'm going to go back to that. Where is it? Okay. So um, I love, like, all of this. It's all good. Uh, so, you know, I, I just like how they've done it. Um, let's drop this stuff off. And scorpion seal. Oh, isn't this where I put scorpions before? Oh, maybe not. That's where I put the um, clam. So I'm a little torn. I think we'll go down the beach and grab some more um, coconut and stuff so that we have some more food to make water. Uh, so we'll go down the beach. I just, I'm a little torn about which direction to go. Um, but I think, uh, what else do we need? We need rope. So I guess we'll go this way. Grab some coconuts and then try to get rope. I might need to, uh, Oh, there's that rock I dropped on the beach. I can pick that up and make smaller rocks. We're going to need that. I thought I saw a stone up here. Let's take a look. Stones? No? Okay. Maybe I should also look for urchins. Oh no, I was out of stamina. Ah. Oops. Okay. Man, I just need one more urchin. Where are the urchins? Delicious caviar. Yeah, I see clams. Hmm. It used to be you could find like four or five of them, and a lot more starfish than that. It's okay, I don't mind change. It just would be nice uh, to have some better food. I'm not going to even bother picking up that starfish because I don't want to eat it because it'll make me sick. Even though it says 9% chance, you can just times it by 10. This is how it seems to actually work. Uh, okay. Well, I guess not. Come on, please. Oh, okay. Okay. But we'll just go around this way, because this is where we're going anyway. And there shouldn't be any here, because that's where I already got some. Okay. So there's a lot of, uh, is that a date palm right there? There should be a lot of coconut over here. I can't remember if there's some over here, but I'm just going to try and get a lot. I hear a really weird sound. Like my phone is buzzing, but it's not in the direction of my phone. Okay, so there's no food coconuts over here? Come on, really? Okay. Okay. Maybe I should... Nah, I, we don't need the crabs. It's fine. Okay. So, coconuts. 
We might as well harvest all of them. And, yep. Oh, it gave me indigestion. I'm gonna have to get some more chamomile. The indigestion chance from the coconuts is actually fairly low. Okay. Um, now, did we see a rope tree? Oops, on the area we already looted. Oh, it's way over here. Uh, I guess we could go there. There's one right over here that's not that far from, like, our home. We might have to fight another dog, but that's okay. Okay, so if we go up this way, and what you can do is just kind of follow the edge of the forest. Be really careful if you're new at this game. Ah! Ah! What? You didn't give me any warning. So we have to take two of those. <sighs> Rattlesnakes. Usually you can hear them. Fucking scorpion. At least the scorpion didn't also poison me. Usually you can hear him. Maybe it was the, uh, what do you call it? The rain? I hear a dog and it's like over here-ish. Where are you? Anyway, be really careful. There he is. That's good. Um, it's like super easy to get lost. These cure runny nose. We'll grab some of those. Um, and you can just look in and I'll show you what the rope trees look like. And you know, try to find one close to the edge. And obviously those, um, there's another rattlesnake. See, that time I heard it first. There it is. Rattlesnakes are a great way to practice throwing because they don't move. Um, you can pick up their bodies and they'll decay into rotten food, which um, is really good for uh, um, fishing. Okay, so... It's just a little more over this way, and then the back entrance to the cave is right there. Tobacco helps with uh, if you get a sunburn, which is the only thing we're protected against. So, oops, I'm not going to pick that up. Um, and then this path right here goes to a couple of boars that we are nowhere near wanting to fight right now. Okay, I think it's like right over there, the rope tree that I want. There could be one right here, so let's just check. Um, I believe there's large branches up here, yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing it. The rope trees are really obvious because they've got all kinds of vines hanging from them. I hear another snake. Ah! Oh no, no, we don't want a pig. We're gonna run. Yeah. Our weapons suck. Uh, and that's the main reason. There is a harpy kind of over here too, so we do want to just continue to be careful. Oh my god. Okay, so where the um, 
vegetation starts to come outward, there should be one just right in here. There it is. Okay. Let's look around for a scorpion. Okay, would it not let me harvest because something is... Oh. Alright. We can use the... Um, broken cutters. Actually, maybe I will. I'll just keep it. To make a stone spear. Okay, I don't know if it helps, but let's just look around and see if we can see a scorpion before we try to loot this tree. I don't see any. Okay, we're gonna need another axe. Uh, so we can do two. And guess what? I'm out of stones. I can't make more. I can't make another axe. There's more stone over here, but geez. Like, why is it so... Oh, I meant to pick up that big stone on the beach and I forgot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of going a weird direction. Oh, and I've been recording for a long time. Well, I guess this is the last thing that we'll do. So we'll grab these stones. Okay, it's only midday. <clears throat> and I'll try to go back to that rope tree. So this is a path right here that leads to the beach. Um, it's down by where I... If you exit the grotto in the front on the beach side and turn left, um, which is kind of like south. Uh, I don't think this... Is this the same one? Yep. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. So here, let's drop the old axe. So when it comes to the axe, um, there's no reason to keep it. Uh, just make a new one. Don't bother repairing it or whatever. So I'm going to go to get back. Uh... Let's go through here. There's a harpy right there. If we go through here, we'll avoid it. We might run into some skunks, so I can't remember. There's a skunk. There's skunks up there and up there, right up there. But I think if we go over here enough, there might be over there. No. You kind of need, um, I think you need a bow and arrow to hunt the chickens. Which we are going to get next episode, hopefully. Next episode, what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to move our base. And um, so we'll have it in a more strategic location for the whole island. And we'll be able to um, also maybe make a bow and arrow. Um, am I going the wrong way here? What's going on? Oh, there it is. So I think uh, the scorpions I didn't find last time will probably be here this time. I guess we're about to discover. Oh my god, why? It's not just that it's dark, it's like hard on the eyes. Where? are they. This is one of the places where they spawn. Huh. Okay. Okay, so let's put our rattles here. 
that and even these. I'm not going to do anything with those right now. And this broken cutter. Okay, and then go here. And we'll make one rope just to show you what's unlocked. So, and we've unlocked other stuff too. So the hibiscus medicine, which cures flu. Um, the stone spear, we need a workbench for that. The weak bow, we need a workbench for that. The belt, um, which allows us to have more weapons, carry more weapons at a time. The bandolier allows us to carry more arrows at a time. Canopy, which is what we needed. <laughs> Um, regular workbench. See, all this stuff uses rope. The carpentry workbench, which we desperately need. This, we don't need right this second, but I can't wait to use it because it wasn't available in the demo. Um, the coconut flask, which would help us collect the rain that's coming down right now. This, I'm so excited to have. Uh, we can't make all of this right now. And of course, the dried snake tail, I don't know what it's for. It wasn't available in the demo. And, uh, Let's see if we can go. Now, I thought maybe we could find the things that it's an ingredient for, but I guess not. Um, so that's where we're going to end our episode today. Let's take a look out here at the beautiful weather that's coming down. Um, and um, yeah, I just love how beautiful this game is. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Futan Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.